Hey, good afternoon, everyone. So right now it is 1.30 p.m. and um, my van time is 1.45, so I'm heading down in a few minutes. Um, it's rainy outside and it's very cold here. Um, today's a long day. I have two legs today. And then um, I don't reach my destination until 11.30 p.m. And right now it's 1.30 30 yeah so it's a long day for me i'm not ready for winter like i don't know i'm just not ready for winter like i just want like spring right now if i could get spring that would be good but you know it's my body's not used to the winter yet it's like it's not used to it um because i have the little sniffles and stuff like that and that's normal in the winter time for you to get like that that's you have to keep up with the vitamins um and a lot of natural vitamins stuff that i'd be taking um healthy stuff and you have to make sure you're eating right because if not especially if you're flying if you're not eating right you're gonna get sick a lot um and now it's flu season so yeah you need to build up your immune system to get healthy stuff in but um i think my shuttle is downstairs i can see it um so the crew that i'm working with today um it was an original crew that was on my pairing because i have a line with like two other more people but they dropped their trip the last minute so these people pick it up and i am flying flight to tennessee and there's someone that's senior than me so she flying lead so i decided to fly see this pairing and this is a three-day trip um I, I go back to base tomorrow it's like so for us like three-day trip is like a two-day trip so in flight attendant lifestyle in flight attendant life our days are count differently <laughs> so people might say oh yeah you're gone for three days but technically we're actually gone for two days but we're coming back on the third day so um, we just say we say it's, it's three day trip but basically it's a two day trip if that makes sense to you guys but yeah so we do stuff a little different in the flight attendant world but yeah it's a world all to itself which is crazy i think i have a few minutes to spare and then i head downstairs i'm hoping it's not too bumpy today i just can't deal with the bumps today like i don't know like my body does feel like it doesn't want to do anything today like and it gets in your body does get like that you feel you sometimes you wake up and you'll be like i don't want to go to work today man i just feel lazy or tired or whatever you just just don't want to go and then when you um away from work for too long it's like you're craving to go to work like you have to go to work like something it's like you don't go to work something's going on with you so it's it's crazy how when we at work too much we don't want to work and then when we're not at work we're like okay yeah we have to go back to work it's like we missed it it's like a drug <laughs> but yeah man so i guess i'll talk to y'all later hopefully my flight goes very well um i think we're gonna be on a 320 today that's four flight attendants on this um plane um, we don't have any deadheaders. Deadheaders are people that are working but not really working that flight, but they're still getting paid while they're regular passengers and the company pay for their seat. So those are what deadheaders are. Now uh, we're gonna be flying with the same pilots that we flew with yesterday. So that's the good thing with that. Well, I just uploaded a video, guys, so definitely check it out. Um, also, check out my website and the reviews that I did. Um, I have a video, a separate video that I do fashion stuff, um, which is still on this channel. So definitely check those out. I know. It's um, Christmas is coming um, I have a lot of cute items on my website and they're reasonable prices I make sure that the prices that I'm putting on are reasonable and stuff like that so you guys can see what the items um, look like in the video and stuff like that and ask me questions so definitely check that out okay, so we have like an hour slipped and I decided to order me a baked potato with steak and I'm about to go in it smells so good so we have catering um, they're restocking the carts get the old items out put the new items in the pilots just got here and oh my gosh guys this philly i what's it called it's called great potato that's what it's called great potato right yeah. this great potato thing with the philly cheesesteak on there is so good it's the die for like so good so if you're in las vegas definitely get it at las vegas airport good morning all right guys so today is go home day i'm super super excited oh i like the lighting right here it's beautiful here so today's go home day i'm super super excited i forgot i did a vlog last night when i get got to the hotel 
because I went live so definitely check out the live it was just a quick little video I'm just kind of like testing it out because I'm new to this live thing I'm also new to like vlogging because for me sometimes I get super shy I'm trying to come out of my shyness so I think I'm getting a little bit better of vlogging and um, you know talking to you guys but normally I'm super super shy and quiet and stuff like that so yeah so it's take a lot for me to come on here and give you all that energy and everything else so today go home day three this is a three-day trip um, I don't arrive until late tonight uh, so we'll be flying all day I have three legs today um, right now is like 12 o'clock I'm gonna go get me some lunch even though I bring lunch it's crazy because you, you it's, as a flat tenant, you're gonna go through a point that you'll you're bringing food for your trip, but then you don't want to eat it. You don't feel like eating it. So right now I'm going to buy something to eat. I'm probably going to buy some soup. I'm a soup girl, gumbo girl. I'm all about the gumbo. So I'm going to get some gumbo. Um, especially when I come to certain places that have gumbo, then yes, I'm going to get some gumbo. So that's what I'm going to get for lunch. And um, I probably think, I think that's all I'm going to have for today. And I have two salads in my lunch bag, so I'll probably just eat the salad. Um, yeah. Plus, we're going to be early at the airport because our event, our show time is 1.45, but our van time is 1 because they run every 30 minutes. So, we're going to be super, super early at the airport. So, I probably might get even something else at the airport. So, we'll see. But I'm going to go now and get me my gumbo and eat real quick. And I'll check y'all with y'all later, okay? So, I just saw um, United flight attendants, the new hires, and it was so funny. And um, I was just congratulating them for, you know, getting hired and all that kind of stuff to start their training and stuff like that. But this one girl, man, she was like going in like, oh my goodness, like I'm so excited. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's great. It's awesome. But I'm kind of, I'm like, I'm excited for them. So I was like, you know, just take it in one step at a time. Don't rush stuff because when, when you're so, so like, oh my God, that's, you're the first one to crash in two months. Like like sometimes as flight attendants you can see you can tell how long a person will last by just the way how they act and you can tell if they're able to cope with certain things that comes with it because <laughs> yeah you can see you can tell by just by their expression the way they act and stuff like that you can be like yeah she go only gonna last like two months and you look at the other flights and like mm -hmm, yeah you're right <laughs> but i'm excited for them man it's a new journey in and a lot of things are new for them, but I'm super, super excited. So we're just congratulating them and just tell them to take it in one step at a time. Don't rush stuff. You know, know your contract. Know your contract. Because <laughs> these airlines, honey, they be not following the contract. So know your contract. Because, yeah. But I'm going to go dive Guys, in. So I'm watching this show, right? It's called Scorpion King. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Just horses. We don't <laughs> 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 That man beat the crap out of this horse. <laughs> hey, who does that? <laughs> Ask the camel if they fart. Like, who does that? <laughs> okay, so this is our hotel room. We actually wasn't supposed to be here tonight, but um, I'm gonna tell you guys all the story, but I'm gonna do a, a review. So, here is the kitchen area they have microwave, their microwave, refrigerator, sink, and all that good stuff up top. And then, here is the desk area. And then, you have a little couch here situations going on and then you have a desk in the corner and a nice little TV stand area here and then you have the bedroom which is right here I don't even know where the light is in this room but here is the bedroom guys I don't know where the light is this off for now so yeah so here is the bedroom the beds are huge at these hotels huge and then we have and then on the side we have a closet area so that's the closet and then in there we have the bathroom
Here's the sink. Got two mirrors in here. Then we have the bathroom. I like the design of it. It's really, really nice. Very spacious. It's a very, very, it's like a, to me, it's like a studio kind of. That makes, yeah, it's like a little studio. Hey guys, I am so tired. I'm having a migraine, like so, so bad. So today was go home day for us and we had three legs and the third leg, um, we got stuck. So on the third leg with flight pushback and everything, we're ready to go head home. We couldn't take off. We had to head back to the gate. Maintenance came trying to fix the, the situation and they couldn't fix it. They had to buy up. They said they have to order the parts. So when ordering the parts now, it was late. So they have to order the parts tomorrow, which they had to cancel the flight. The thing is that with aircrafts, aircrafts, they don't really sit for a very long time. Like they don't, it's not like um, how we drive our car and, you know, we park it overnight or whatever. A lot of the planes, they don't get parked overnight. And just like oh, with the cars, you know, we have to do our brakes, we have to do our oil change, we have to do all these things. And a lot of times with all those things, you have to wait until something happens before we actually you know change all those things so it's not like oh yeah it's about time to change the brakes no you wait until you, you hear something you feel something but like yeah it's about time to change the brakes that's all that's, that's the same thing when it comes to the aircraft i mean there are certain things that you can that are scheduled to change ahead of time and there are certain things just happen during the midst of it so that's what happened so we couldn't take off so we have to can they had to cancel the flight um now we were supposed to head home and since the flight is canceled, the company had to provide us with a hotel. And the hotel we are at is not the hotel that we normally would stay at. So, yeah, the struggle, right? And then we have 12-hour layover, which is not even a 12-hour because, excuse me, we have to arrive at the airport 50 minutes before departure. Um, so tomorrow, so today is my day off actually it's just midnight now today's my day off and they're deadheading us deadheading meaning that you're on company's time and on company's dime but you're not working you're just like a regular passenger but it's a confirmed seat so we're deadheading home today even though today is our day off and the company owes us an extra day off so yeah we're supposed to be getting paid wait since it's my day off i need to ask those suckers i need to get paid 150 percent because it's my day off but then you already know gray area. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm leaving. So I have to be up by 8 something to be on time for the shuttle. And I'm tired, guys. I'm so... Excuse me. I'm so tired. And this is what people don't understand. When it comes to flight attendant world, sometimes you make, you may make plans and everything. And when the flight get canceled, change your plans. So my coworker, she had a date today. And I was like, um, yeah. So, okay. So before we started this trip, she had a date. And then she had to cancel the trip. Just yeah, she, she had to cancel the date because she picked up this trip. So she told the date, you know, I pick up this trip for extra money, whatever. So the date was okay, fine. We can do it when you come back. So her date was, her date was scheduled for today. And now that her flight got canceled, she's working and not, she's deadheading and going home. By the time she land, it's going to be too late for her to do her date. So she got to reschedule the date again. So that's the thing with flight attendant, man. Like you may have something planned and something, once the flight get canceled, that's it. The plan is out the window. Um, so yeah, I am so exhausted. <sighs> guys i'm so tired i'm about to take me a nap they have free breakfast so i'm probably just gonna go to the free breakfast because i don't have any breakfast because i didn't even pack extra for a day i didn't even pack anything extra when it comes to food so a three-day trip end up turning to be a four-day trip which is not something that i wanted but it happened uh, so I'm gonna end this vlog today right now and I'll probably talk to you guys in a few hours because I have to get up and go catch the flight back home So deuces